Uh, let's see. It looks like Ronnie Brown might get supplanted by... Shoot, what's his name? Jesse Chapman? That would be really pathetic if he managed to pull that off, but... Of course, Chapman has had a decent preseason. Ronnie Brown, not so much, so... It's only fair. We'll see what becomes of that. I'm not entirely sure I buy it. I think it's just to light a fire under Ronnie Brown's ass, but... Something needs to shake loose there. Neither running game coming along very well. As I was just saying, Cadillac Williams. I want to see him take a full... I think he needs to get like 15 to 20 carries a game at least. I really do like him as a player, but he needs to be utilized more, especially given the offense that the Bucks have right now. Chris Sims actually got a snap, a couple of snaps in this game. Um, I'm wondering if he'll get cut. It looks like that could be a possible outcome now, given his injury situation. David Boston actually played, it seems, and I heard he got a DWI. Uh, driving under, I mean, excuse me, a DUI, so I don't know what's going to become of that, but what a freaking idiot, I mean, he just finally got to the stage in the NFL where he might actually start again, shockingly enough, and then he screws up, you know, not pretty, um, let's see, moving on, I guess that's all I'm going to say about that, um, Colts and Lions, how about it, huh? Who else saw Peyton Manning completely tear that um, Detroit secondary apart? I know it's not a good secondary, but this was the first time this season we saw Manning light it up. So, yeah. It's always fun to watch. Um, you know, everybody got involved. Five different Colts receivers had touchdowns. Um, Wayne, Harrison, Clark, Moorhead, um, Carponzo Thorpe. How's that for a name, huh? Must have been laughed at. Um, running game didn't look so hot, but um, Hugo, once again, struggling a little bit. I think he gave up the sack on the first play of the game, but don't hold me to that. But, you know, his progression isn't perfect, but very few things in this league are. Uh, I was impressed by the Colts' defense all around. I saw them generate pretty good pressure to an okay job against the run. I wouldn't say spectacular, but I've seen worse. Um, for the Detroit side of things, you know, no Kitna, so it's really impossible to say much. The defense got pushed around and lit up left and right, so that's not pretty, but they're not a defensive team. They knew their defense was going to suck coming into this season, so it's about the offense. Um, the running game, lacking Kevin Jones, now lacking Tatum Bell. We'll see how TJ Duckett and Brian Calhoun can handle the load now, although I hear Tatum Bell's going to be back soon enough, so that's always good. Um, <clears throat> Calvin Johnson once again gets into the action. Got hit pretty hard on one play, but he continues to be a machine-like beast this preseason. Is it just me, or is he like a robot? I wonder what he does in his free time. It's crazy. Now, finally... The game that I really care about, the game that I watched from beginning to end, Minnesota and Seattle. Uh, thoughts on this game? I was pretty happy with the offense. Matt played very well, other than the one interception he had to Antoine Winfield. He um, was, you know, finding the open receiver, throwing nice sharp ball passes. Didn't get sacked once, I'm pretty sure. Faced some pressure occasionally, but was able to get away from it and get the ball away. Um... Wallace came in, and we saw much of the same. He actually had a nice long TD pass to Ben Obomanu. Sean's best action of the preseason by far. It was just eight carries for 30 yards, but first time this preseason he had gotten, um, I believe, more than two carries. So <clears throat> he's starting to get things on track. Leonard Weaver continues to disappoint this preseason. Five carries, 12 yards, stupid fumble, missed a... I believe he missed a block at some point and held on another play. So, uh, he's going to be in the doghouse for a while, which is disappointing. I think he can be a great power back. I don't know if he has a place on this team, but I know he's a good player. Obomanu continues to be the MVP of our preseason with another touchdown reception and a solid return, which brings us to the best part of this game was our return game. We saw Burleson come away with a great return. 
almost took it to the house. Wilson had a great return. Obomanu had a solid return. So our return game is going to turn some heads this season. I'm feeling it. Pollard finally got involved in the passing game. Finally. I was worried we wouldn't have a pass-catching <coughs> tight end this year, but he's our guy. Engram had a nice game. Nice to see him come back. I really thought he was going to retire this offseason, but there he is. Dion Branch showed up. I thought he had a touchdown on that one play, but whatever. Sean copped it from him the next play, but he's really starting to learn this offense nicely. Uh, defensively, we only got the one sack. I didn't get great pressure, but the sack was by Baratka Atkins. So, uh, nice rookie, fourth rounder coming along. Um, I continue to see players like uh, Brandon Mabane fill in nicely. Marcus Tubbs finally got on the field and played quite well. Very happy moment for all of us. Tatupu continues to struggle as he has this entire preseason. A um, couple of nice interceptions by Kevin Hobbs and Will Herring. Probably going to make the difference for them between making the roster and not making the roster. So uh, <coughs> I'd say that's pretty good. Um, line played okay for um, one of the few times this preseason, actually. Yeah, the first game was pretty good. This last game was actually a really one where we struggled. So, um, yeah, things are looking pretty nicely. Trufant was getting worked over on the uh, uh, left side against Bobby Wade. They kept going to him, and he had a couple of nice plays, but dropped two interceptions and did get um, <coughs> pushed around from time to time. Um... That's about all I can say about us. No Julian Peterson, so we saw a bit of Kevin Bentley. He looked pretty good. I was pretty happy with how that's coming along. Um, for the Vikings side of things, Tavares Jackson continues to impress, as does that backfield of Taylor and Peterson. They're on their way to big things. Bollinger obviously played very poorly. Two interceptions, one in the end zone. Um, one return for that. One return for a touchdown. Bobby Wade with that nice little bit of trickery, throwing the ball in the back of the end zone to Shinnico. I'd say he played better than a couple of quarterbacks, of actual quarterbacks in this game, if you know what I mean. Um, Bobby Wade is really stepping his game up. Could have had a 100-yard receiving game if he had um, held on to that one deep ball near the end of the first half. Um, defensively, they continue to play the run quite well with the Williams brothers in the middle. I love the Williams brothers. I love me some Kevin Williams and Pat Williams. You cannot beat that as far as defensive tackle tandems go. And their pass defense seems to be coming along all right. I'd still list it as a concern, but it it's looking pretty good in Minnesota. I think they could actually end up with a pretty solid season. Which, you know, I was thinking 5 and 11, 6 and 10, but Tavares Jackson continues to impress me. Um, final game, Philadelphia and Pittsburgh. Kind of an ugly game, not very fun to watch. A lot of mistakes all around. McNabb couldn't get on track. Reggie Brown kept dropping balls. Roethlisberger had that stupid interception, but otherwise played well, even though he never got him to the end zone himself. Parker was kind of hit or miss. Um, he had that one fumble in the red zone. That wasn't, you know, that's that's not okay. Um, Pittsburgh was getting great pressure, I think like four or five sacks on the game. Philadelphia, not so much, even though the defense had their moments. They forced some turnovers and stuff. They kind of had a hard time and got, and Roethlisberger had almost 250 passing yards in the first half alone, so not a great game for Philly. The only plus side was that Kevin Kolb did play very well. 26-37 for 242 and a touchdown. Made up for McNabb not playing so well. Buck Holter also had a pretty good game, as did Tony Hunt. Westbrook did not get enough action, so these guys stepped in for him, and they filled in pretty well. Mm. Um, not much else to say. It was just kind of a sloppy and not a very fun game. Eh, never fun to watch games like this, if you ask me. Uh, one thing I'd like to point out is Heath Miller, two catches, 50 yards. I like this kid a lot. He's going to have a big season this year. Tonight we got Atlanta and Cincinnati, so I'll be reporting back on that tomorrow. See ya.